What's up guys, very cool Alan here with a special overview or sort of review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Oppo Find 7, but not with ColorOS. I managed to flash CyanogenMod 11 on this device. So now it's running pure vanilla stock Android. Let's get to it. Here's the phone. Let me just turn that on. Alright, so basically this is running Android 4.4.4 and there are some threads on XDA that will show you how to flash uh, the recovery and um, root the device and then from there you just download the CyanogenMod ROM and the Google Apps and just flash them through recovery and this is what it will look like when it boots up. Alright, now if you're like me and you don't like ColorOS, first of all because it's Android 4.3, that's old OS already and because a lot of their features aren't useful that much so I just wanted something stock I love stock Android I also like TouchWiz but <clears throat> I can also do with this let's see put the brightness a little bit low there you go alright so this is CyanogenMod 11 let's go to the settings show you some stuff around go about phone and the model number is going to be the Find 7. This is not the 7A, this is the Find 7 with the QHD display. It's rooted Android 4.4.4 KitKat and there you go. Alright now one of the many questions that people have been getting that are on Cyanogen Mod on this Oppo Find 7 is if the storage issue with the apps is still there and yes it is still here you only have three gigabytes of storage to install apps so I don't know when they're gonna release a fix for that but so far it's not affecting me I have like over a gigabyte left but I don't have that many apps installed it works on my 64 gigabyte SD card and also has a 32 gigabytes of installed memory so everything's good on that um, this is a lot of personalization a lot more than color OS I can tell you that this is a great ROM especially if you want everything customized you can customize the toggles up here which I have already done customize the clock to your liking I have it on the middle you can customize the color put themes on this you customize the lock screen the notification drawer gestures also for gestures it's like color OS you can draw a circle to activate the camera so let's just do that see camera I have no idea why it's that's weird it was working earlier the camera haha <laughs> wow I don't know but yeah it's probably a bug since this is a nightly anyways the camera works, uh, draw V to the flashlight also works, the music, the gestures, everything works fine. Uh, so if you miss the gestures, they're, they're still going to be there. You're not missing much from the color OS. Sound, display, the buttons. You can also put uh, on-screen buttons on here like the OnePlus One. So if you were wanting the OnePlus One and you have this phone, you can flash it. And it's basically a OnePlus One with a little bit better specs in my opinion. Alright, let's talk about battery life too. Battery life is not great. First of all, it's not great on this device in the first place. But on Sanogenmod, it's not going to be better. It's it's about the same. Uh, let's see. Let's look at my battery. I have five hours on the battery, and I only have three hours on screen time, and I have 32% left. So it's okay. About four hours of screen on time is what I'm getting, which is not the best especially with this big battery but I'm guessing it's the display that's killing a lot of it everything works Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS I've already tested all of that and I installed a custom launcher it comes with the trebuchet launcher a launcher but I installed a custom one Nova because I like this one a lot better it's more customizable in my opinion more smooth and it comes with stock apps you know the stock vanilla Android apps and Google apps but I uninstalled a bunch of them with titanium launcher 
because I really don't use them. I just have games, social media, some other stuff here. And yeah, that's basically it. I wish the camera worked. I don't know why it's not working right now. It worked earlier. But yeah, the camera works fine. Uh, the volume works. See? Everything's fine. Let's see what else we can do. Yeah. Well, anything else, that's it. Basically, if you already know Android, you already got everything else installed. So yeah, that was a quick overview of CyanogenMod 11 on the Oppo Find 7. I hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.